Today we're spending time with two Golden Lions rugby players, the loose forward Josh Strauss and fullback Yaku Tauter. You and met up with them in Joburg to find out what keeps them on top of their game. Yaku, let's start with you. You recently came back from Italy where you competed in the Under-20 World Cup. Tell me a bit about that. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a great experience um, representing the box again. Um, just bad luck we couldn't pull it through at the end of the tournament, but it was a great experience, yeah. What is the standard like over there compared to here? Is there a difference at all? For me, it's a great rugby standard because it's the best juniors in the world competing against each other. And Super Rugby was a new experience for me this year, but I enjoyed it. It was a great challenge. In the latter part of the season, I felt I could go into my motions. But I must say, the Junior World Cup is an awesome standard and the rugby is played at a fierce pace. Teammate Josh Strauss's beard earned him several nicknames, including Caveman. This gentle giant's professionalism, never-say-die attitude and dedication impressed his teammates and opponents alike. Josh, I know that you know this is coming, but what's up with the beard, man? Tell me about that. Initially, when I moved up, my agent phoned me and he said that I had to fly up on the Sunday. I came up on short notice. I was I was still at Marty's. And me and my girlfriend at that time, she was my girlfriend still. We had a chat and she said, but I must kiss that a little bit a beard. And she said, just grow it and then you can look as ugly as possible while you're up there. <laughs> and then uh, some of the guys, like Warren Whiteley, just, you know, they made a wager with me, just keep it till the end of the curry cup, and it just stuck. Indeed, a unique declaration of love and devotion to Tammy Lee, who's now his fiancée, even if this young salon owner seems to be tempted to cut it herself. Tell me about some of the supplements that you use to help you keep that balanced diet. When we come to the morning sessions and we're in the gym, I, I usually use a pre-workout from USN, Anabolic Nitro. That helps me with my energy during the gym and just to help me have that extra little bit of power. Afterwards, I would use a whey protein just to put all that protein back into my muscles. And then we would have lunch at the Union. And then when I go home, I'll use a protein shake just to put that back. In the evenings, I'll try and make me something that um, fills me with all the essential carbohydrates, protein, so that I can be back in my best the next day. Goal determines diet. And in order to participate in some of the fiercest competitions, Coach John Mitchell teams up with USN nutritional experts to formulate a winning strategy and create new momentum. Josh, for you personally, how important is it to work closely with experts like Trevor and Gareth. So every player needs his own routine and they want different things from every player and uh, so that's where it plays a big role to have guys like that. I mean, so like Yaku, they want him to get a little bit bigger <laughs> and uh, me, they want to lose a little bit of weight. So then Trevor and them will coordinate us appropriately. And Josh, when it comes to supplements, how important is it for you personally to have a good knowledge? You don't go blindly into anything in life and I mean it's the same with this. I used to, when I was at the smaller units, I tried to stay away from supplementation and you could really feel it. Um, say for instance after a game I would take four days to fully recover where some of the players who do use supplementation take about a day or two days. What are some of the supplements that you like to use? I'm using the muscle feel. This is for after gym and if you come in after a field session, you don't normally have the time to have something to eat before you walk into the gym. So you just have a muscle fuel and then I also have the anabolic and uh, the creatine X4. But also then in the evenings, you normally you try and cook what you, what you need. But if, you know, if I don't eat as much as I need, I have a, a, the pure protein. Natural talent, hard work and determination are all essential. But athletes are becoming increasingly aware of the crucial role that diet and nutritional supplementation like USN play in sporting success. Now Josh, using these supplements, do you feel a difference at all? In the off-season when you use the anabolic and stuff, you can really feel it if you use it at the right timings and everything. You feel the pump and you see a, a massive step up if you, if you use the products for about two weeks or so. And then also with the... With the protein, I mean, it's essential because when you come off a field session that's been for about an hour, you're really hungry and you can feel your body needs some filling and then you just do that. When dealing with high energy needs, recovery is incredibly important. For the rugby players to achieve this, they have frequent meals and in-between top-up snacks. USN bars and shakes come in most handy. Yaku, what is your take on rugby today and would you be able to perform at the level that you're at without the help of supplementation? I feel you can still perform, but you won't have that edge on your opposition because you need to have that edge. And I think USN supplementation brings that to the, to the party. So I'm just one more thing. In your honest opinions, 
who is going to win the World Cup. Uh, the Box have a great chance, they are defending champions and I feel um, they're a very good team, they're experienced. So my heart will always back the box because it's our country, but I feel there's going to be a few surprises from a few underdogs. I don't know. What do you think, Josh? I have to be a patriot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in again tomorrow as we get to know Doppies Legrancy and Vikas van Heerden. And for more inspiration on reaching your own fitness goals, join the USNSA page on Facebook today.